Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Amulet, the directorial debut of actress Ramala Garay, which premiered at the 2020 Sundance Film Festival and is scheduled to be released in some theaters and on digital in demand July 24th, 2020, courtesy of Magnet Releasing. Um, Amulet is about uh, a man, Tomas, played by Alex Secorano of Francis Lee's God's Own Country, uh, who is a refugee in the UK. Uh, we get a bunch of flashbacks of uh, a traumatic experience that happened while he was guarding an outpost in an unnamed war-torn country uh, sometime prior, uh, in which he harbored uh, a fugitive played by Angeliki Papulia named Miriam. Uh, in between that, uh, we see he's working a job in construction uh, the, and is tying his hands at night uh, for unknown reasons. Uh, but when a fire breaks out, he's uh, badly injured and he wakes up to see Imelda Staunton's sister Claire standing over him saying, um, these are all that are left of your possessions. We didn't see any money lying on the ground near you, but we can still help you out if you want to stay in the UK. She knows a house uh, that is uh, looked over by Carla Jury, playing Magda, uh, who's watching her very ill invalid mother, who's upstairs making a lot of strange noises. Uh, so he decides to stay, and uh, after some initial tension, he starts to have feelings for Magda, but the more he finds out about what's going on, the stranger and more sinister things become. Um, Rommel Gray, who's uh, been familiar with since, uh, you know, her uh, starring in Francois Zone's 2007 English language uh, debut, uh, Angel. Uh, she's in Woody Allen's Scoop, uh, worked with a lot of notable directors, done a lot of great things. Uh, so it's very interesting to see her tackle uh, what could be classified as a feminist horror film. Uh, it certainly features uh, some supernatural elements, including a demon that. I would uh, call a, a feminist demon here to exact the wrath of women. A uh, lot of interesting things to ponder and tease apart uh, that will uh, that that you'll think of long after the film is uh, ended. Uh, lots of uh, s strange hints about what was happening and why it happened. Uh, uh, Gray does a great job uh, in her script of making uh, Sekirano a very uh, sympathetic character and all the uh, notable women around him uh, being very uh, kind of strange and off-putting. Uh, some excellent cinematography from Laura Bellingham, a haunting score from uh, newcomer Sarah Anglis. Um, it will remind you, you know, very peripherally maybe of uh, Jennifer Kent's Nightingale, but more so uh, Relic, uh, which uh, premiered at the same film festival, uh, I'd say The Wicker Man. Uh, just, it, it's packed with a, a lot of interesting ideas, including uh, little nagging details, such as having Tomas reading what appears to be Hannah Arendt's On Violence, and, and the significance of all those things uh, wrapped up make it just a very thought-provoking horror film uh, from Ms. Gray. Uh, overall, I would give the film three and a half out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.